this is Paul Neeson and welcome to this week's uh, Health According to the Scriptures. And this week we're going to talk about Exodus 21, 1 to 24, 18. And in Exodus 21, 1 to 24, 18, in my last video we see he, uh, the Ten Commandments were given to the children of Israel. Uh, but now we see he continues with even more commandments and we're going to talk about these things. But these videos are from a health perspective. So we're going to see what they have to say. Well, Exodus 23, 25 to 26 says, uh, you must serve only Yahweh, your Elohim. If you do, He will bless you with food and water and will protect you from illness. There will be no miscarriages or infertility in your land, and He will give you long, full lives. And that was Exodus 23, 25 to 26. So we see this week Yahweh, our Creator, blessing the Israelites with His guidelines and instructions of how to keep them healthy and safe as they make their way through the desert on their way to the promised land. Uh, the Israelites in the desert were no different than the situation we're in today. Why? They were taken out of a situation uh, that they were comfortable in. Even though they were being oppressed, they were slaves, uh, and, and, and they, were, they, they didn't have freedom, they were still comfortable because it's what they were used to doing. And that's the way many people are today. They're slaves to their job, they're slaves to society, uh, they're slaves to poor health, they're living in fear, they're living in sin, but they're comfortable because they've been doing it for so long. Uh, well, when you're taking out of that, and all of a sudden you're in a new environment, uh, you have to react in a different way. And so the, the Israelites were taken out of, the, out of Egypt, out of slavery, and, and many of them, even though they left the slavery of Egypt, it, it didn't leave them because it was still in them. The customs, the culture, and everything had been ingrained in them. So they had to have a, a separation and had to really try to you know, change their way of living, their way of thinking. And that's what we have to do. When we become believers of Messiah, you know, we have to stop doing what the world's doing, the world's ways, uh, and, and we have start doing according to our Creator's ways, how we eat, how we live, and what we do. So just like the Israelites had the promised land waiting for them, we too have a promised land waiting for us. And we have to realize that and stay on our goal, stay on track, and not get sidetracked by the world's ways and all the distractions. He will heal us from all our sicknesses, worries, and fears as long as we follow His wonderful safety instructions. And guess what? Those instructions are called Torah. T-O-R-A-H. This is a big problem. It's probably the most misunderstood word or the mistranslated word in Scripture because people many times say it means law. It does not mean law. It means guidelines and instructions. And we've been blessed with these guidelines and instructions of how to keep our bodies healthy and safe. You know, I don't teach about diet and I don't teach about food. I teach about obedience and I teach about understanding Yahweh's Torah. And that's what's really important. That's what we have to learn. All the information is in there of what we need to do. But the problem today is we continue, continue, continually take chances with our own health and He continues to rescue us. But there is going to come a time where He's going to say, I've been telling you and showing you and you've been ignoring, so now I'm going to let you suffer the consequences of what you're doing. In Exodus 23, 20 it says, I am sending you an angel before you to protect you on your journey to lead you safely into the place I have prepared for you. And that uh, angel is Yahshua Himself. He's the one that, that we need to look forward to. We need to follow His ways. He's the guideline, and that's who we need to follow. Just like the Israelites came out of slavery and went to the Promised Land, we have come out of slavery when we become believers in Messiah, and we're on our way to the Promised Land, and Yeshua is leading the way. He set an example of what we need to do and how we need to get there. And there is only one way, and that's through accepting Yeshua as your Messiah. So we came to see one of the things that Yeshua himself came to do. When Yahweh gave the Torah this week to the Israelites in the desert, there was a lot of confusion. A lot of people wasn't sure. And you needed Moses. We saw last week Moses had to get a whole bunch of men because Jethro, his father-in-law, told him he was going to burn himself out of all the problems and all the confusion. But Yeshua came not to do away with the law, but to simplify it, to make people understand it and show people what they need to do and how they need to do it. That's what He showed them and that's what He gives us. He doesn't do away with Yahweh's instructions and guidelines. He doesn't do away with the Torah. He simplifies it and He shows us how to do it more simply. We'll use, for example, the Sabbath. 
Yeshua never said not to keep the Sabbath. He had a problem with the Pharisees because the Pharisees had all these man-made laws around the Sabbath. But Yeshua said, no, we're going to stop doing it man ways and we're going to start doing it Yahweh's ways. And Yahweh's ways says, His commandments shall not be burdensome to those whose hearts are right. So Yeshua just came to say, stop focusing on man's corrupted ways, their twisted ways, and focus on Yahweh's ways. He didn't say not to do it. He showed them how to do it. And this is what He shows us how to do. And the most important thing He shows us how to do, yes, He shows us how to cleanse our body, cleanse our temple. You know, the first thing he did when he came riding in on a donkey, he got off the donkey and he went right to the temple and he cleansed it. And he shows us how to cleanse our body. He points us to the Torah. He is the living Torah and he shows us how these things are to be done. But the main thing is he showed us how to get to heaven. He showed us how to be saved. He says, your heart is turned and you accept me as your Messiah. That is the only way. And that's what I tell everyone out there. That is the only way. We have so many people today worried about sickness and disease. They're taking medicine. They're taking drugs. They're tasting all these things. They're spending a lot of money on all money they don't even have on all these potions and all this black magic and all these doctors and all these bills and everything else. You want to cure for all illness? You want to know how to get rid of, rid of all illnesses and sicknesses? Well, it says it right in Exodus this week. In t this week's teaching, in Exodus 23 to 25, it says, I will protect you from illness. I will protect you from illness. We have to understand, Yahweh never wants us to be a slave to poor health. He never wants us to be a slave for the world. And in this week's teaching, He's taken the Israelites right out of Egypt, and He's taken us away out of that slavery as well, of living according to what the doctors say, living according to what our bank account says, and He says, I will protect you from illness. I will be your protector, and He will protect us. I'm going to close this week on Philippians 2.13. Philippians 2.13 says, For Yahweh is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. So you can accomplish all things that He tells us what to do. He's working in us to show us that as long as you accept me, these things will be possible. They are not burdensome. So He gives us the opportunity to do all these things. You have the opportunity, you have the ability, and now you need the desire and go out there and, and just follow Yeshua into the promised land and get out of your sicknesses. Take Yahweh's words close to heart that He will protect you from all disease. Everybody, this is Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries saying thank you and have a wonderful day and Yahweh bless you.